Welcome back, everybody. This is uh, Dagwood the Dago, back for our series on how to mount a, uh, a Vato uh, HD second generation uh, video camera onto, uh, today we're going to be mounting it on a helmet. Now this particular helmet uh, we're using today happens to be uh, one of my flying helmets for flying an ultralight. It does have a cutout here for uh, my, my headset, so it's a little bit different than what you might see on a typical uh, uh, skiing helmet or a downhill or a snowboard helmet. Um, but we get the same effect here. So, as you can see on here, this is where they've got it mounted. This is their, the heart of their system here. This, is, this one happens to be uh, have an adhesive uh, stuck on there. And you can see in here, if you look real close, you can see the, uh, the hook and loop plastic they use that everything seems to connect to. They use these pucks right here, and these pucks uh, snap right in there. So we're going to use those today, and we're going to show you how you can adapt the, um, the Contour HD stuff to a lot of the different things for your Vado. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here and I'm going to show you what I did. I took one of these pucks right here and I went ahead and drilled it and uh, installed a, a quarter twenty uh, stud uh, mount in here so that we could uh, use this as a, an adapter for a variety of different things. Now you can go ahead and you can stick this right inside of here if you want to, uh, but in this case we're going to use this knuckle. This knuckle is pretty slick and uh, what it does, it it gives you a variety of different movements here. You got a ball up here, you got up and down here, and it can be swiveled this way as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece right here and screw it inside here. All right. Now what we've got is we've got the heart of the system, which is this right here, which goes into all the different things. It snaps right in there. But now we've got this knuckle on here. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to screw it on side here. All right. And now what we have is we have the ability to adjust this in a variety of different ways. I'm going to go ahead and hook up this tether here because I fly in a high risk environment. We don't want this thing going through the prop. Now we have this. This can be, this can be mounted to a lot of different stuff here. All right. So let's just go ahead and grab our helmet. We'll set that right there. All right. And now what we do is we can take this and snap this right on side here. Let's just go ahead and just kind of do a trial fit here and see where this takes us. And you can hear it snap right in there. And now what you can do is you can take this, let me get my glasses here, you can adjust this as necessary up, down, all around. If you need to give it a little twist down here a little bit, you can do this. And now what you have, you've got your new high definition Vado mounted on the side of uh, a helmet here. This very easily could be uh, a motorcycle helmet, it could be your gas tank uh, on your bike, uh, side of your car, whatever you want to do. Uh, now that with this piece on here, now you have the complete adjustability to do this. You want it up here, you want it down here, uh, you know, variety, whatever you need to do, this gives you a lot of flexibility in here. Of course you want to get the camera and you want to get the angle right, you want to get it level. And with this we can, we can do that. And now we have that here. Now, I'll just go ahead and give a little disclaimer for all you uh, contour people are getting your feelings hurt out there. Yeah, this is ugly. All right? There's no doubt about it. It's not as slick and smooth looking and close to the helmet and all that sort of stuff uh, as the contour. But guys, I've said it before, I'm going to say it again. It's always about the video. This has much better video. It has a better low light capabilities. Um, it has a better, it holds a better um, contrast between the highs and the lows. If you happen to be in a mixed uh, lighting situation uh, where there's brights and shadows, uh, the contour can't hold but one. This does a much better job of holding it and because of that I'll put up with the ugliness because you know what? It's not about the vanity, about uh, you know you being seen in it, it's about the people seeing your video and this shoots better video and if you want better video here's a good way to do that for you. So there it is right there folks. It's slick, it's easy, and it's inexpensive. If you got some dollars spent uh, on the uh, contour stuff, uh, it's adaptable. Uh, this is not really a contour thing. I uh, don't remember exactly where I got it. Um, I bought so many things over the years. I just figured out a way to adapt to various different things that I've had. Just most of these uh, motorcycle uh, helmet places uh, offer a lot of these different things right here. This is not special. I think I got this from Chase Cam, as a matter of fact. It was part of another piece. Uh, actually, I believe it was part of... Uh, actually, I think it came with this. And uh, I just took it off of here. This is a suction cup mount. We're going to do another video about that a little bit later. 
But today, that's it. That's the, uh, the Vado HD conversion to a helmet. And uh, again, it's always good to talk to you. Hope this helps some folks out. And uh, this is uh, Dagwood the Dago signing off. And uh, wish you all, uh, you know, a great new year. And hope that you can find many ways to adapt the, uh, the Vado uh, to your needs. And if I can be of any service, uh, just touch base with me on my uh, YouTube channel and I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. Take care. Have a good one. Dagwood the Dago signing off.